second phase is more about diving. And here I am, like I was never the top student. I barely made it through high school. College was, if I could, if I showed you my transcript, it looks like somebody was struggling to, to say uh, an F curse word because mm -hmm. they're, I just had ter terrible grades in college. And so I, now I'm learning about Boyle's law, Charles Gay Lusick's law, like about how your body responds to pressure underwater. That's when I, I think I already have made the mindset shift to absorbing as much as you can and not being overwhelmed with the amount of information that you're, you're drinking through a fire hose. And it, it, you went through the, I went through these challenges of the, in second phase you do is called pool calm. And um, it, it, is, it was very tough for me because I always had a fear of drowning. Well, pool comp is designed to make you relax under an extreme amount of pressure underwater. Outside of that, I, this is one of the things I do for underwater knot tying in my business now is I, I, I show the difference between when you're outside of water, you can take a deep breath and, and learn to make yourself relax. Well, if you don't have that luxury of oxygen or doing that, it causes you a whole different set of stress factors. And that's what uh, pool comp was doing is simulating if you got, if you're diving underwater and you get hit by surf and you lost your, your air, are you going to be able to maintain your composure and solve that problem? And so work through the issues and find the source of oxygen. And that was something that I'm proud to say I made it through first time, every time through pool comp. That's incredible. Wow. Yeah. I, wow. I was, <laughs> I have to credit that to my roommate at the time because he was, so he actually made it through with me. He, we were in Puerto Rico together um, serving and we trained a lot together. And so I learned a lot from him on just composure and staying calm. And he was, he was such a good guy and he was my roommate in Buds. And mm -hmm. anybody that's been through Buds knows that eventually if you're a roommate with a guy all the way through, you're probably going, and especially second phase, you're probably, you hate each other. We didn't really hate each other, but you kind of get irritated, you know, if you're <laughs> just was a, a, a unique dynamic, but I owe a lot to him because the way that I, I learned to like stay calm and, and um, do things, it was kind of like focus at the, on the task and not the problem. It is a problem, but the task is to solve that problem. If you get overwhelmed by it, when I'm underwater and I have no air, SEAL instructors are on the surface and they're, they're, they're sharks. They're waiting for you because you're swimming along with your, your tanks and everything. And, they swim down and they they hit you and they twist and turn you and uh, tie your regulator in a knot and and now you're you're just kind of like waiting and then they they dive off and now it's your time like okay focus you're running out of air your your lungs are burning you want nothing more than to go get a breath of fresh air but you can't because you've got to solve this problem can you maintain your composure and have the mental awareness to follow through your regulator figure out where the problem is and solve that problem because at the end you will get that oxygen that you so desperately need and you've proven that you can maintain your composure um underwater because that you know you can feel the water you know that you can't breathe in water you're going to drown and so that was kind of my fear is like okay i can either let fear control me and respond to that or i can respond to how i talk to myself of staying focused i got to solve this problem just relax. You can do this. Other people have done this. You can do this. Just get through it. And so that's, that helped me out quite a bit. And I, I made it through a uh, pool comp, um, which is a lot. Of, it's a lot of hype. And that's, that's with everything. Hell week buds. It was a lot of hype that if you let that hype control you, then, and that's with a lot of things in life. If you let the hype and fear control you, you're taking away of what you're truly capable of. You don't get to see exactly how far you can take things and, and what you can accomplish. And that's what I, I realized through many of these, these challenges and buds is that you maintain your composure and have the, why not me? I can do this, you know, focus on, on those things that you can accomplish a lot more than you truly think you can.